the BlackBerry Motion is by no means a top performer. That doesn't mean the Snapdragon 625 is underpowered, in fact it can handle yard-a-day tasks and casual gaming fairly well. BlackBerry's lean modifications to Android also means the phone won't hog the system's resources. An Adreno 506 GPU powers the graphics. If put the BlackBerry Motion up against a number of other smartphones in its price point and other smartphones running the Snapdragon 625, let's see how the Motion does among other smartphones. We've even added the Honor 6X, a phone that launched at the end of last year with high silicon's Kirin 655 and launched in the US for $250. We've also added the OnePlus 5T which is at a similar price point but brings the best available performance for the money. Starting off with Antata 6, the BlackBerry Motion performed similarly to the KE Yon in the Blade V8 Pro, all of which have the same Snapdragon 625 processor. The SD626 in the Moto Z2 Play didn't fare much better of a score. Meanwhile, the Snapdragon 630 of the Moto X4 isn't too far ahead. The Snapdragon 835 on the OnePlus 5T is drastically quicker. Once you load apps and break the BlackBerry Motion in, you may notice some slight difference in performance over time. You'll notice this if you're a really fast smartphone typer. We think that a smartphone of price category pushing 2018 should not be this prone to software lag. Despite using a mid-range CPU, the BlackBerry Motion's performance is generally good. It handles day-to-day -day tasks well, even during those intense message typing sessions when the predictive text and auto correct are working hard. The stability of stock Android should be a benefit to Android's performance. That, and Android 7.1.2 is the smoothest and most stable version of Android Nougat. We'd love to see the Android Oreo update take the efficiency and smoothness even further. Unlike what you may expect, the BlackBerry Motion played games wonderfully. We were able to play Asphalt 8 with no dropped frames. Android gaming has become pretty smooth across most devices, even on mid-range phones. Where CPU power matters nowadays is the few seconds or fractions of a second of time between performing actions. You'll notice this if you were to use video editing apps or anything that requires post-processing or rendering of a final product. At the end of the day, a BlackBerry is a workhorse for sorting documents, answering emails, taking calls, social media, and mobile tasks for running a department or business. If you require the use of more demanding apps and tasks like editing photos or constant social media, we'd recommend you look for something with a more capable CPU.